elephant in my fridge. At bedtime, Fred was wide awake. He sighed, I just can't sleep. So Mommy tucked him in and said, the trick is counting sheep. But sheep, Fred thought, are boring. As he tossed and turned in bed, he, so he closed his eyes and started counting elephants instead. The first one had a pirate hat, an eye patch, and a sword. He was hunting around the toy box for his pirate treasure hoard. The second had a cape on and some superhero tights. He was flying around Fred's ceiling, trying not to hit the lights. Then Fred heard lots of splashing from more elephants next door. They were sitting in the bathtub, firing bubbles at the floor. Three more were on the landing, Doing clever circus tricks, they were balanced on a beat wall while they juggled building bricks. One wearing a pink tutu did a spin across the floor, but she tripped on a banana. But she tripped on a banana. Fred tried and tried to count them, but the number grew and grew. One flew past him on a scooter. Was it one or were there two? Elephants were everywhere. They turned the telly on. One was gobbling ice cream, and the biscuits were, had all gone. On the stairs, a marching band were climbing two by two. When the leader lost his footing, with a trumpeting achoo. He crashed into the next one and the house began to shake as they rumbled and they tumbled like an elephant earthquake. The trunks were in a tangle, legs all waving in the air. He never counted how many they were, how many were all jumbled up in there. Enough, cried Fred, you have to go. He opened the front door and then he crashed a pair of symbols that were lying on the floor. The elephants ignored him. They were having too much fun. Fred was out of good ideas. Then he had a sneaky one. Pack your trunks, be quick, he said. Look over there, a mouse. The elephants skated. They weren't staying in this house. Phew, Fred yawned and closed his eyes and drifted off to sleep. sleep. Those elephants were trouble. I'll just stick to counting sheep.